Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Emily and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make three room decor ideas that are inspired by Urban Outfitters. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about these DIYs and if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more DIYs. Let's get on with the video. The first DIY I'm gonna show you how to make is a hoop photo display. The first thing you want to do is that you want to get a wooden embroidery hoop of any size or you can use any type of hoop that you want. I use the inner part of the wooden embroidery hoop. Now you want to take a barbecue stick or another type of stick and you want to place it on top of the inner part of the embroidery hoop or whatever hoop you're using so you can see where you need to cut the stick. Then you can cut the stick with wire cutters or you can break the stick with your hands. You want to do this for however many rows you're going to make for the display. I only made two rows. The rows of sticks are where the pictures are going to hang. Once you're done cutting the sticks, you want to sand the ends down until they're smooth. Once you're done sanding the sticks, you want to lay them out on the hoop, so you'll know where to glue them on the hoop. Then you can put glue on the ends of the sticks and place them onto the hoop. You may need to hold the sticks on the hoop so the sticks don't move. When the glue is dry, you can put pictures, notes, or quotes onto the rows with clothespins or binder clips. Then you can hang the photo display on a wall. The next DIY I'm going to show you how to make is a banner. You're going to need cardstock paper, and you can use any color that you want. I use gold cardstock paper. What you want to do with the cardstock paper is that you want to draw or trace a template onto the paper of anything that you want. And you can make as many shapes as you want. I made templates for a moon and a star. And I made two moons, two stars, and a ghost for the banner. When you're done drawing out your shapes, you want to cut them out. For the ghost that I made, I glued on some jewels for the eyes of the ghost. You can do the same thing to any of the shapes that you made. When you get your shapes done, you want to lay them out so you can see what you want your banner to look like. Then you can take some thread or you can use whatever you want. I used brown thread. What you want to do is that you want to lay out one long thread horizontally. And then you want to lay out a piece of thread for each shape vertically. Then you want to tie each of those pieces of thread that are laid out vertically into knots onto the horizontal piece of thread or whatever you use for the horizontal piece. Once you've got all of the thread tied to the thread, you can tape the shapes onto the end of each piece of thread. The last thing you have to do is that you want to cut off any of the thread or whatever you use that you don't want off of the banner, like the extra thread from the knots or any of the extra thread that hangs off of the shapes. Then you can hang it onto the wall with some tape or you can tie loops on the ends of the thread and hang the banner on hooks. The last DIY I'm going to show you how to make is a wire photo holder. You're going to need a wire. The wire I had was about 12 inches long, but you can use wire that's longer. You're also going to need pliers. Then you want to start bending your wire into any shape that you want. I made a shape of a cat's head. You can use pliers to bend the wire, or you can bend the wire with your hands. You can start in the middle of the wire so you have part of the stand that needs to stay straight. You do want to keep in mind of how tall you want the photo holder to be and you really need to keep in mind of how much wire you'll need to go around the first time and how much wire you're going to need to go around a second time or at least half way of the second time. Once you go around the first time, you want to make a second layer by continuing to wrap the wire into the same shape. You can either wrap the wire all the way around or you can at least go halfway. Once you're done bending the wire, you can test it out to make sure it works by putting a picture in between the wire and make sure you like how it looks before going on to the next step. 
you want, you can put some glue where the two layers meet so the wire stays together. And you just want to add enough glue to where the wire doesn't move as much. You may have to hold it together because the wire might move while the glue is drying. Then you want to put your pliers near the end of the wire that's part of the stand. Then you want to bend the wire at about a 90 degree angle, like how I did here. It doesn't have to be perfect. This will help the wire stay in place in the clay. Now you can roll out some polymer clay in between two pieces of parchment paper. You don't want to roll out the clay too thin because you need to have room for the wire. Now you can cut any shape out of the clay. I cut out a circle. Then you want to smooth the edges of the shape out with your fingers. When you're done with your shape, you want to put the wire carefully into the clay, like how I did here. If you need to, you can smooth out the clay again, and you can fix the hole if it's too big by smoothing it out or by adding more clay to cover the hole. When you like how the clay looks, you want to place your wire photo holder on top of the piece of parchment paper that's on a baking sheet. Then you want to carefully pull the wire out of the clay. Then you can fix the hole again if you need to, and you can check to make sure the wire can go back in. And make sure you take the wire out of the clay before baking it. When you're happy with how your clay looks, you can bake the polymer clay in the oven according to the instructions on the packaging. I baked mine for 12 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. When the clay is done baking, you can take it out of the oven and you want to wait for the clay to cool off. When the clay has cooled off, you want to put some glue on the part of the wire that's bent at a 90 degree angle. Then you can put the wire into the hole. If you need to, you can bend the wire to make it stand up straight. And you can add some more glue where the hole in the wire is so the wire doesn't tilt. When you're happy with how the photo holder looks, you can paint it with one or two coats of any color of acrylic paint. You can also paint it with spray paint. When the paint is dry, you can put a picture or a quote in between the wires. And that's how you make these DIYs. In the comments down below, let me know what you think about these DIYs. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more DIYs. I will see you in the next video. Bye.